amazing, really unbelievable. I don't think they can quite believe it, to be honest. Oh, amazing. Words can't describe it. So excited and shocked and everything at the same time. It was amazing. I was completely, like, astounded. I was pretty gobsmacked. I thought it might have been a little bit of a joke. <laughs> I was, like, running around the house screaming and shouting. It came to me as a great surprise. I think that we will be able to showcase the very best of this country, the very best of local and voluntary communities and also the very best of young people. Yeah, the funny thing was, um, the first thing I did, I got a vase off the top of the stairs when I found the phone call and I went down the stairs holding this vase like it was the Olympic torch and my mum was like, what are you doing? And I told her that I just got this phone call, so it was amazing, yeah. I was nominated through Coca-Cola, so um, they basically rang me and asked me if I'd you know, be interested in this opportunity. Really pleased that I was able to, I'm able to carry the torch and I'm able to be here today. So it's very light, I think it's, it's very light. It was, like, I thought it was going to be more heavier, but yeah, yeah it's very light. Every day, wake it up, um, 300 metres is a long way to walk, so uh, uh, every day I have to do my fitness and uh, be ready for it. So. I'll be doing plenty of running and walking beforehand, so hopefully I'll be in good shape before I am. I'm an ex-soldier, so although I've got a bit, of, a bit of timber on me, I'm still quite quite healthy and fit. I haven't told a few of my friends yet. I mean, my mum, we know Squishy's here today, but they're, they're all really, really proud of my mum and dad. We run in a bush for a wee while so they don't fall on my face when it actually comes. When my friends get to hear about this and when it breaks, uh, my life is going to be one continuous practice of carrying the torch. There's going to be no respite. I've always loved my sport. I used to play so much. Um, and since I lost a leg, it's been completely different. A lot more limited to watching it and, and not really being involved as such. But definitely it made me rethink and the Paralympics is something that is obviously very highly talked about nowadays. I was thrilled to be given a once in a lifetime chance and it's like an absolute honour to be running through my hometown with all my friends and family to support me. I'm trying to see if I can get any professional coaches to help me so if there's anyone out there who would like to help me then I'll be brilliant, definitely.